take a moment to share with you a little bit about the Ryobi system we use when we go away camping. Now, Ryobi is synonymous with handyman tools. I've always used for my home renovations and building projects and just messing around in the shed at home. And you may not be aware, but Ryobi has a massive range. I also have Ryobi gardening tools on top of all the tools you'd expect, drills and saws and all kinds of things, sanders, everything. But there's also a range within Ryobi that uh, is great for camping. So we use the Ryobi batteries that we use for my tools at home, my gardening equipment, and we charge them all up and take them away. And we've got a number of different devices that we use when we're away camping. Right now, it's expected to be about 38 degrees here in Paradise Valley while we're away. We're camping in a tent and we've got this uh, undercover shelter. So I've actually got two of these fans which are absolutely great for getting the airflow going in the tent. They hang from the top of the tent so they get the airflow moving inside. And when I'm outside in an area like this, I can use this to get the airflow moving. There's also a mister version of this as well which comes out sometimes and that's a really handy one because that'll spray a bit of water from a standard bucket. So you've got the whole misting airflow thing which is great when you're in the, the tropics or other hot areas. Obviously lighting is very important. So we've got a couple of different lights that we use when we go away. This one's one of the more recent camp lanterns they have and this actually has a USB charging port on the front of it. So you can actually charge your device as well as have the light at the same time. It has a hook on top so it's great to hang up from whatever shelter you're in or from your tent. We've got the standard camping lanterns, you can see here, this one is one of the older models, it's uh, seen its fair share of travel, so uh, that doesn't have a USB port on it. And we also have a spotlight, which is really good. So this is up to 2,500 lumens, very, very bright. We can take it and shine it across anywhere, spot animals, possums, kangaroos, all those sorts of things. So it's a great device to have in the kit bag. We also have our radio. Now, this is one of the older versions of the radios and you can put your device in the back and plug in the jack. You can pick up AM and FM radio. You can also get a bigger version of this. It runs off the battery and charges your devices and there's also a couple of older models around as well. The air compressor is fantastic. Now, this can actually pump up your car tires or your caravan tires. It's strong enough, absolutely, and I've done that many a time. What we use it for is our camp lilos, and we also use it to blow up our portable boats. So we've got inflatable boats, and the kids are out on the boats right now. That's why I'm taking this moment to run the video for you. So uh, this will blow up a boat and within a couple of minutes. The kids do it themselves. I don't have to get involved, and it's, it's been absolutely fantastic. Now, when it comes to batteries, it uses the 18 volt one system from Ryobi. So I've got one of my older batteries here. Uh, these come in the smaller or the larger batteries. If you can get the larger ones, they're great. This is one of the older ones. It doesn't have a sensor across the front, but in the newer models, you can actually push a button to see how long, uh, how far along the charge is. And this one's uh, fully charged up at the moment with four bars. That's great when you're camping, going stop to stop. You can have a look to see how much charge is in each battery. Now, if you run out of charge, you use a, um, a powered a 240 volt charging station. This is just one of the rapid chargers. You can get one that is a multi-station, so you can have multiple batteries. That's great. You hit a caravan park, plug it in, go to a store or something like that for a coffee. You can plug in your batteries and charge them up as you go around Australia. From a device point of view, one last item I'd like to show you is uh, here our USB adapter. Now this is a really simple device and there's quite a few people that hack them. I mentioned already the lantern that had the USB port on it. This is designed just for device charging. So as you can see the, the larger battery just slots straight in underneath and I've actually got our phone cords plugged in. So I can plug this into my phone, press the button on top and it'll start to charge and it'll just charge off this battery. So that gives me power to my devices wherever I am. Um, my wife has an iPhone so we've got the, the Samsung and the iPhone plugs on the back, bottom of them. So uh, two ports and that's really handy as you travel around and perhaps you don't have the power. So I run 10 batteries uh, I've got, which I've found has been enough for over a week's worth of camping. I haven't really gone through. In saying that, it hasn't always been that hot, so don't always have the, the fan running. Um, I think given we're away at the moment, we'll probably get through our batteries because it's just going to be really hot and I've got two fans. I'm going to run them non-stop to keep the, keep the tent nice and cool. So these are available from Bunnings exclusively, thanks to Ryobi. Go and check them out. Um, if I was to choose my absolute favourite device here, um, being a technology geek, it'd have to be the USB adapter charger, um, but the home comforts of a fan can't be stopped. So if you can get, get yourself a fan for when you're away camping, it's great. So enjoy your camping and hope this is informative.